Good morning, everyone. My name is Betty Weisbrick, and I am showing proof of life because I have been off the grid for about a month. Um, Dennis and I got back from Florida, and I just kicked into high gear. New catalog coming out. I have been so busy, but busy too with grandchildren and family, and I'm, I'm loving my life. So I just want to show you I am alive. I am good. And now let me get to show you some of the things that I have been working on. Okay, hold on. And if anybody out there is interested in a part-time job in technology, you get a hold of me because... I want to just be able to do my videos and have everybody else do all the rest of it because I just like being creative. So first off, I just want to show you, um, I'm going to Mexico next week with our daughter-in-law, Liz. Dennis said he really didn't care to go. It's a Stampin' Up! incentive trip, so we're heading to Playa del Carmen. So I've been busy packing for that too. But um, I have club then the following week because that's a bean. All right, so a little sneak peek here. This is one of the goodies that my club members will receive. And I'm putting these salted caramel biscotti cookies inside of it. So for those that are coming to club, sneak peek, shut it off, too late, you already saw it. But this is what you're gonna be getting, okay? And these are absolutely delicious. This is using the Latte Love Set, uh, which we're also gonna be doing another project with that, which I don't have designed yet, but I'm working on it. So, um, but one little tip here, I thought as I was doing this this morning, I thought this would be a good tip to share with my, my friends. Um, this is the top of the coffee cup, okay? And I did it in Calypso Coral on white, but then I colored it in because I didn't want the white there. But I wanna show you, when I work with my blends, I don't go directly to the tip with the tip here, I go to the side of it, okay? I go to the side of it. That saves my tip that I don't have to worry about it getting all crunched. And if you just go to the side, I don't know, I'm hoping you can see this okay. Um, I'm just gonna finish this one up because then I have my that project done and ready to assemble. For those of you coming to club, you don't want to miss it because I will be giving you, I'll give you the template to this too, this project, I mean. But look at, that way my tip is still, where the heck is my camera? There, my tip is still nice and, and um, stiff and pointy, so I'm happy. All right, so let's just kind of, I'm just going to try to put this aside. Okay, this is what I've been working on. And unfortunately, I don't have all the projects because I must not have saved one, but I am in several swaps as a demonstrator. There's a group of people, we get together and we do swaps. And so I make like 26 of the same card, send it to somebody, return postage, she sends me back 26 different cards using, it's typically a theme. And this one was called our Product Purchase Premier, PPP for short. And this one here is using the products that we as demonstrators could purchase prior to the new catalog unveiling. See the new catalog? I love this. And I wish I could show you the inside. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There, it's amazing, it's amazing. This starts on May 1st. For those of you that, my customers, I had them mailed to you. Club members, you're gonna be receiving them at club. If you want it sooner, just let me know, and I can certainly put one out in the garage for you to pick up. Um, but most of them I had mailed to people, and they are receiving them. So some of you people have already seen the inside. It's so cool. Um, this starts May 1st, and I'm on my incentive trip from April 29th to May 4th. Hmm, what falls in the middle? May 1st. So I um, feel like I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage that I won't be around to share it with you, but I might get some videos done ahead of time to post. This is using the Layers of Beauty. Um, oh my gosh, where's the stamp set? Layers of Beauty, la la la. Here it is. <clears throat> this is a beautiful, I love, happy anniversary. We need these kinds of sets. You make my heart smile, every one of you do that. This set here, this is a big, look at how big this stamp is, or this, um, image. I'm going to take it out of the bag so that you can see it better. 
Okay. So this is the stamp set. It's using masks. Remember, we've used these before. I absolutely love them. I have to remember how to get them out of here. They're numbered one through five. And let's see here, right up in this corner here, there's a number one. I don't know, can you see it? Okay, there's a number one and there's also this little notch. So when I was working with them, I laid it on, of course, my glass mat, layered it over where I needed to, and I actually put a little black mark here, and then I taped down the cardstock underneath that had this image. And I used Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Berry Burst for the flowers. And you know, it, when you put them on, you don't really notice the difference. And then all of a sudden when you take it off, it's like, wow, it becomes three-dimensional. So that is the set I used. And then I die cut out with the big die. I die cut out the flower and put it on my card, but also the back of the card. And I, again, I don't know if you can see that on the video. This back of the card, these are some of our new embossing folders. Look at, they're like five by seven. This is called So Swirly. Um, absolutely. Oh my gosh. So I got to use new product. And of course, that always there's a little bit of a learning curve when you're using new product. And so it took me a little bit more time. Um, here's another one I did. Now, some of you are going to be laughing because you know I loved Loveliest Tree. I did. I thought, or. Oh my gosh, what was it called? Lovely as a treat. I'm so sorry, my brain. Lovely as a treat. So this is the first set when I saw the catalog, I went, oh my gosh, lovely as a treat. I guess I'm gonna have to have this for the next 20 years too. Um, but what caught me on this one was number one, it's one tree, but look at these greetings. Congratulations, happy birthday. Sending heart soaps sending heartfelt sympathy and thank you. What more all occasion set? And I love the font because it's easy to read. This is the card I made with that. And I used the other new stamp set called In the Grove because I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted this die. And not only that, I wanted to use some of the new Thoughtful Journey paper because this paper does the background. I don't have to do anything. So I did the background. And then this lovely, uh, loveliest tree also has a little tree in it. So I added that to it. And of course, the happy birthday from the greeting. But look at this paper. This paper is going to just, it's going to do everything. It's going to do everything for you. This card was like a no brainer for me. Because like I said, the designer paper did the, did the work for me. This is also using our new beige basic. So it's kind of like white vanilla beige so it's really nice that we've got kind of a softer neutral color i really 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 like this and i just added a simple um strip in the bottom but this paper oh and i know a lot of demonstrators have it out there already and you can see it i don't do very good at this but this is who i am so you're stuck with me um by the way i don't edit my videos so what you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. This is the stamp set, which I haven't had a chance to use that in the groove because I liked the dies. It was all about the dies for me. All right. Oh, and it's got a cute little here. This is the other thing that I think is so cute. Look at the little bunny and the little squirrel. I don't know. Can you see it? A little squirrel and a little bunny. I almost added that to it, but it really didn't need it. I thought it was fine just the way it was. Okay, so now I'm going to put this away because otherwise... Hope I'm making, bringing a little sunshine to your mailbox this week. All right, let me put this away. And I have just a couple more projects to show you. <clears throat> Whenever I do swaps, I like to do like a, a fancy fold or some kind of little technique kind of thing. So this is using Flowers of Beauty. Um, a nice, I, you know, you can never have enough flowers. But what I like about this is it's a two-step stamp. So I have my leaves, I have my flower, I have a little flower, I have the stem that goes inside this flower. What else? Oh, and then of course these 
I don't know. I'm going to call them forget-me-nots, but I'm probably wrong. My sister could tell you the difference. Um, so I used that set, and then I also used... Okay, now, darn it, I just brought it out. Oh, yeah, the same set I used ugh, from a previous set. This is called Unabounded Love. Look at these beautiful greetings. I am all about sentiment. Sentiment inside, sentiment outside. I love, I'm all about it. So this is my fun fold. And I use the paper Unbounded Beauty. Well, if I could get this open. There we go. I should have taken these out before and I didn't. Okay, so look at, and I added the glimmer paper. The glimmer paper comes in these shades. These are the new, this is um, called Summer Splash. This is the new in color, Summer Splash. So you open it up like this and then like this. So easy, this is so easy. This may or may not be a future club card. I'm not sure yet. Why don't you tell me if you guys would like to see, see me do this at club? If any of you would love to do that at club, comment, comment, let me know. Say, Betty, that'd be a perfect card for club. I'm not going to guarantee you that it'll be in May or June, but I'm always up for suggestions, okay? Because the reason this came about, this, this whole thing, this theme with my latte love, is because Annie and Katie from my club said, Betty, do something with latte love next month. And it's like, you betcha, I'm there. So that's, I get my ideas from you guys. Because, you know, it's like, as women, the hardest thing is telling me to make what to make for dinner. I'll make it, but tell me what you want to make for dinner. And I know a lot of you are laughing right now because that happens. With this abounded love, I feel like I'm all over the place, but abounded love. Look at the beautiful frames, framelit dies that come with it. And this one here, let me see. I found this out quite by accident. This one here, it not only cuts out the inside, but it also gives you a little bit of a frame around the outside. So like you could do this outside frame in black and then run it through again and do it on the middle. And then you put it together and it's got a black border. It's really cool. So I found that out by accident because I didn't know that's how that die worked. Okay. So I'm just going to show you the paper really quick. <clears throat> Unbounded beauty. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just beautiful. See, the, the one side is definitely more detailed and the back is more muted. And I probably don't even have a full... See, look at those flowers. Like, I'm going to say they're forget-me-nots just because. Um, and the, the papers that come with it are, or the colors that coordinate... Berry Burst Calypso Coral Peach Pie is a new in color. Petunia Pop Pretty in Pink is back as a new in color. Pretty Peacock Shy Shamrock new in color Summer Splash. So if you want some of the new colors, this is the designer paper to have. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Last but not least, I love, this is an online exclusive. Stampin' Up! is doing more things online online. Um, when whether we like it or not, and I don't mind it because it gives us a chance to unveil more stamp sets during the year, which I think is really cool. But um, you're forced to go online and look. And this is where Betty is struggling, okay? Because I'm not a good online. I don't mind doing videos. It's just I don't know how to post them. I don't know how to put a PDF file with it. So if any of you are out there and are interested in working with me, you don't have to live by me but you need to work with me. I would appreciate your help um, and we can talk, okay? Because I am just really challenged. And a lot of demonstrators have technical uh, assistance is what they call them. Um, and I could do that. I mean, I maybe I could do it. I don't know what I wanna do. I just know that I need to get a more better online presence. So I need some, anyway, that's enough for me chattering. I love this Simply Zinnia set. And this is a card that um, I copied. I mean, I changed mine a little bit, but of course I did not keep a copy of it. But it's a swap that I did. But this is a swap that one of my team members, Jan Grossman, did. And I fell in love with it because Jan is a Wink Stella fan. She loves glitter. So her and I connect in a lot of different ways. It looks like an envelope, doesn't it? She's got the little flap going here and the Simply Zinnia paper. And, of course, followed it through in there. This is absolutely 
gorgeous. So this is another swap that I did. This isn't exactly what I did. So Jan, if you're out there, I did a little bit different. I changed some greetings and I changed some of the paper a little bit, but um, I absolutely love it. And so I, I thank you, Jan, for sharing that. We have monthly stamp shares that we get together and we're a crazy group and we're going to have so much fun. I can hardly stand it. There is going to be a new um, sign up promotion starting May 1st. Uh, you'll hear more about that from me a little bit later. It's it's in May 1st, so obviously it does, isn't right now. But again, if you have not received the new catalog and you want one and you don't have another demonstrator, please give me a call. I'm happy to mail one to you. Um, yeah, so check out my online store. There's a link. I hope there's a link here. I'm not sure how this all works. But if not, it's stampingwithsunshine.com. And you all have a wonderful day. I am going to, yep, see my shirt. One of my team members did that for me. I, it's all about glitter. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I am heading to St. Boniface Elementary School in Cold Spring. Our grandson goes there. And I am going to help out with lunch. And then I'm doing some stamping with some of their teachers. So I'm really excited for today. And I'm getting my hair cut. And I'm taking a class tonight on crocheting. So you never know what Betty's going to come up with next. I keep myself very busy. So you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Let Give me comments. Give me feedback. I sure do appreciate it. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye.